Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to Cloud Lender Pro channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about Azure PowerShell guys. First of all, what is PowerShell means? PowerShell is a automation tool or using which we can perform some automations by writing some scripts. We can either automate the deployment of resources or the configuration inside the resources by using this PowerShell. In Azure also, we have Azure PowerShell using which we can automate the deployments, we can uh, get the details of our resources, or we can even change the configuration or state of resources using this Azure PowerShell. So let's go into Azure portal and perform tasks and understand how we can use this Azure PowerShell in the Azure portal as well. I'll create a certain hands-on labs here uh, for you to understand how we can use this Azure PowerShell commands and how we can get the details of Azure resources. Also, how we can create some resources using this Azure PowerShell. Let's go into Azure portal and perform some tasks, guys. Currently, I'm in the Azure portal. In Azure portal, you have an option called Cloud Shell. If you click on it, it will ask you to create a storage account. By defaultly, if you are not having any storage account, it will ask you to create a storage account, guys. In case if you want to provide a custom name for your resource group or for your storage account or for the file share, you can provide it. In case if you want to go with the default configurations, you can click on hide advanced settings and you can click on this create storage button. Once you go and click on this create storage button, it will create a default resource group and a storage account uh, with a random name. So we, if you are not uh, worried about the names of this storage account and the resource group name, you can just click on create storage. If you are worried about the naming convention, then you have to go and uh, provide the name for this particular resources, or even you can use the existing resources if you have created already in your subscriptions. Since I don't have any resources created, I'm going to create everything new and I'm going to choose that uh, new resources also with the default configuration. Now you can see uh, the Azure PowerShell mode is getting launched here. So in Azure Cloud Shell, basically we will have two modes guys. One is called as uh, bash mode and another one is called as PowerShell mode. So in the PowerShell mode, we'll perform more hands-on labs in this video. If you can see the screen, which is little small. In case if you want to see the screen in a bigger window, you have an option here. If you click on it, here it is taking you to another window where you can use this Azure Cloud Shell in a bigger window, guys. So I'm I'm comfortable to use like this. So I'm going to open this Cloud Shell in a different window. So in this window, you can go and uh, perform the particular commands, you can execute them, you can run some queries, etc, etc, you can perform via this Cloud Shell. In case if you want to switch to a bash mode, you have an option here. If you click on it, it will it will show you the bash option. If you click on it, it will ask you whether you want to switch to bash in the Cloud Shell. Uh, switching will reconnect to the same container that you have used before. So if I'm going to click on confirm, it is taking me to this uh, bash mode. Here also you can run bash commands. In this video, we'll also use some bash commands and uh, that knowledge also will gain via this video. For now, I'm going to PowerShell and we'll use PowerShell uh, mode here to run certain queries and certain commands to create some resources as well. Now we can see the PowerShell mode is getting connected. I'll I'll run some commands. Firstly, I'll run some queries. Like say, I'll run get iPhone az subscription command. Uh, I'll hit on enter. It will give me the details of my subscription. So it is giving the details of subscription like uh, what is the name of the subscription, what is the subscription ID, and what is the tenant ID, and what is the state of the subscription. All these details we can able to see here. In case if I want to uh, uh, get some more details about this subscription, I can add on some variables to it and I can get the details. Uh, and also we have created this particular uh, Cloud Shell, right? This Cloud Shell is created in a storage account and in a resource group. If I want to get the details of the resource group, I'll type get hyphen az resource group and I'll hit on enter. It will give me the details of the resource group uh, that is created in the subscription. 
presently I have only one resource group. This is the name of the resource group. And the resource group is created in central India location. And this is the resource ID. If I want to get the uh, storage account that is created in this resource group, I'll just type get hyphen az storage account and uh, I'll hit on enter. It is going to give me the details of storage account that I just created. In case if I want to have some filtration of this results, I'll say get hyphen az account. And here I'm going to give resource group name. The resource group name here is this, which I'm going to copy from here. And I'll paste the resource group name here. And then the name of the storage account, the name of the storage account is this. I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. And I'll hit on enter. I'll get the same details. So from here, what I'll do is I'll just filter and I'll say, I just want um, like creation time. I'll, I'll just say select space creation time. You can see I'm getting the result only for the creation time guys, because I'm applying some filter here and I can able to get the details of creation time of this particular storage account. I will make this window small. I feel uh, the view for this recording will not be that much comfortable. I'll make it little small. And I believe this mode at least gives us some visibility compared to the big screen view. So I'm going to type here uh, the same command uh, which I have used before, uh, get hyphen az storage account uh, hyphen resource group name. I have provided the resource group name hyphen name. I have provided the storage account name. Here in place of creation, if I just want to uh, get the details of uh, this particular storage account, like I want to get what kind of storage account is it, I'll say select kind. So I'm getting the storage account kind name. So like this, if you want to get the details of multiple resources that are residing in your subscription, you can create a, a for each loop and you can write some uh, particular scripts and get the details of all your resources. Sometimes it, it will be a little difficult to get all the details from the Azure portal. PowerShell script is one of the best tool using which you can query to your resources and get the details about your resources. Now we will try to create a resource group using this particular PowerShell window. I'm going to type uh, get hyphen az resource group. I have only one resource group as of now, and I'm going to create a new resource group now. For that, I'm saying new hyphen az resource group. And then I'm providing a name for this resource group. I'll say the resource group name is cloud learner and the location for this resource group is I'm saying West Europe you'll see the status is succeeded that means a resource group is created I'll create one more resource group I'll say the resource group name is uh, uh, in, in place of cloud learner I'll say Azure cloud and I'll hit on enter even Azure Cloud resources also created successfully. Now, for example, if I just want to get the details of the resource groups that are created in my subscription, for that, what I will do, I'll say get iPhone AZ resource group. I'll put a pipeline, then I'll type uh, select space. Uh, here you can see it is resource group name, right? I'm copying it and I'm pasting it here and I'll hit on enter. You can see I'm only getting the details of the resource group names. I'm not getting any other details. In case if you just want to get the location of your resource groups, you can just type on uh, in place of a resource group name, you can just type location. So in which locations your resource groups are created, you can get it. But here you don't know which resource group is created in which location, right? If I just want to add one more column, uh, like resource group space, location, 
you can see what is the resource group and in which location the resource group is created. Same likewise, if you want to uh, get the status, like we have uh, provisioning state, et cetera, et cetera, right? If you want to get the details of that as well, you can add it here, like say resource ID. You can see the details. Like this, we will be able to pull the details of Azure resources. Here I took an example of resource group. So we are able to pull the details of resource group name, what is the location and what is the resource ID. Same likewise, if you have multiple resources, uh, like say storage account, virtual machine, et cetera, et cetera, you'll be able to pull the details as well. Let's go and create one virtual network and we'll try to supply some variables here and then we'll try to create that particular uh, virtual network. For that, I have already created some variables. So all those variables, I'll just copy from uh, a notepad to this cloud shell and I'll try to execute one by one commandlets here. Firstly, I'll have to set the variable. So I'm going to set, uh, I'll just clear this uh, cloud shell here. I'll clear everything so that it will be little uh, easy for us to understand. Now I'm going to use some uh, commands of Azure PowerShell using which I'll create one Azure virtual network guys. So I have already uh, uh, captured some particular variables and commandlets. I'm going to run one by one here and using which we'll create one virtual network. So firstly, I'm going to copy the variable of Azure virtual network name. So here I set a name as vnet01 for the virtual network. After that, I'm, I'm setting a variable for the resource group in which I want to create a virtual network. Then I'm going to enter this location variable. Location is West Europe. After that, I'm going to set this address prefix. For this virtual network, the address prefix is 10.10.0.0 slash 16. After that, I'm going to use a subnet name inside a virtual network. What will be the subnet name? I have provided the name as broad hyphen subnet. Then I'm running subnet address prefix. The address prefix of subnet is 10.10.1.0 slash 24. Then I'm going to set uh, some configuration for this particular subnet. I'm saying dollar subnet 01 equal to, it is going to create one new subnet configuration with some uh, subnet name and subnet prefix that we have already supplied on the top. And I'm hitting on enter here. So there is no error. Now I'm going to uh, run the last command, which will create our Azure virtual network. So I'll go through that uh, command, new hyphen Azure virtual network. So it is creating virtual network with the name, which we have provided in dollar VNet. So the name is vnet01. Then it is going to create in a resource group in dollar resource group that is known as cloud learner. Then it is going to create in a location the dollar location variable is West Europe. After that, it is creating hyphen address prefix. That address prefix variable is set here as 10.10.0.0 slash 16. After that, it is going to create a subnet and for subnet, we have supplied one more extra commandlet. So dollar subnet, we have set here dollar subnet equal to new hyphen Azure virtual network subnet configuration. So virtual network will be created here. After that, it will go and create subnet. So we have set with all these variables and commands, I'm going to hit on enter, which will start deploying our Azure virtual network. Now, if you see this particular result, we have created a virtual network with the name vnet01 under the resource group cloud learner, and it is created in West Europe. And these are the details about that particular virtual network. If I go to Azure portal, in the Azure portal, if I go to virtual network blade, uh, I'll type virtual network here. In the virtual networks, I can see that VNet that I created. So here I created VNet01 and VNet01 will have a subnet and the subnet name is prod hyphen subnet and this is the subnet range. After that, if I go and see the address space, the address space is 10.10.0.0 16. So we have learned how to create a resources using Azure uh, PowerShell here, right? So if I just want to get the details about the resource that I created, that is Azure uh, get an AZ virtual network. If I hit on enter, it will give the entire details about my virtual network. Finally, thank you so much everyone for watching my videos and supporting my channel. Thank you so much.
here comes the end of this particular session guys i have made a very small video for your understanding so that you can practice this uh, small small tasks in your uh, free trial or in your lab as well if you want more content on azure powershell if you are having a specific requirement that you want to have a particular a video on uh, Azure PowerShell in YouTube. You can just put your comments in this YouTube video. I'll create more content on this particular topic as well. Uh